Hi everyone, welcome back to Blender. So I thought we'd go a little bit further with how to actually use Blender and making some kind of model for ourselves. So last time we got to this uh, green uh, shape against a, a pink background and what we want to do this time is go a little bit further and just make an actual shape using the techniques we've talked about so far that resembles an object that we're happy with. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this by doing a new general project, discarding those changes because I need a quick thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, box here and we're going to turn it into the shape of something we'd like to create. Now, if I was to do this, there's, there's two things we can do generally to sort of warm up. The first is a tank, the second is some form of animal. So we're going to do a tank first just to sort of get the idea. The first thing I'd do in this scenario is I would just mess around with the original shape and add more shapes onto it to create a tank shape that we can then use. So if we look at the moment we've got this sort of very basic cuboid uh, but of course we want it to be more tank shaped. So if we go into edit mode we can grab, remember edit mode, one vertices, two edges, three faces. We can grab various edges and faces to make it more of a shape we want. So I'm going to grab this one on the x-axis, so gx, I'm going to move it backwards a little bit there we go. So now we've got what, well, to me anyway, looks a bit more like a tank body. I'm then going to go back into object mode. So remember, tab, edit an object. And in object mode, I'm going to copy this shape because this shape is not only going to be the body of the tank, it's also going to be my shape for the wheels, even if they will look a little bit odd, but you know, we're, we're still working. Um, I'm also going to just change the shape very slightly. So scaling just to make it a little bit wider. So to duplicate, you press Shift D. You can see it's duplicated the shape immediately. Then you can press an uh, axis button, so X, Y, or Z, to sort of scroll it across the axis. So I can see the green ones where I want to put it across. So the green axis, I can now scroll it across by pressing Y. And what I want this one to do is I'm going to scale it in a bit. So scale on the Y, S, Y, and scale it entirely. And we can now see we've got this uh, sort of tank tread part here. Um, let's put another one on the other side. So Shift D on the Y. And there we go. We've now got two tank treads surrounding a body. We also need something sticking out the top, uh, so the uh, the turret. So let's Shift A. Remember, Shift A is add in an object. We'll put in a new cube. Grab it on the Z, and grab on the X. So G Z G X. And now we can scale it using S, and just make a little sort of pop out box part for the turret. Um, if we wanted to be a bit more clever, of course, we could uh, scale it up a bit, go into edit mode and change the top face. So we might, you know, uh, make that a bit smaller and grab it a bit higher. So now we've got something that looks more, you know, more realistic, more popping out the top. We want this part here to come out as the actual cannon. So in edit mode, if we go on to this front face here and press I, we can insert a face. Now we can see it's gone a little bit skewed because I've messed around with the shape already, but we can now scale that around. So if I scale it on the Z and grab on the Z, we can see we've got this little part here that we can now extrude out. So remember last time we are extruding, let's just make it all nice and even. So scale that S on the Y axis with Y. There we go. Three, grab the face and extrude out. It's trying to extrude out in a very awkward direction there. But let's extrude it out on the x-axis by pressing x so it goes straight ahead. Okay, looking good. Let's extrude again. Oh, but this time we want to make the, the sort of end part of the cannon. So we're going to scale it. Press uh, S, so E then S, and we've got this part. And we can extrude it on the x again, and it should come forward. I inserts, like we did before. And we can now extrude it back in. And we've got well, a massive great turret, but it'll do for now. Uh, let's match a few things up. So we've now got a turret, a body, and two tracks. Uh, let's make the tracks a little bit bigger, sort of a cartoonish size at the moment. There we go. Tank worthy. So what we want to do now is, it looks like a very simple tank, and you know, we can do our usual things that we've learned how to do. So we might give it sort of like a dark greenish colour. And we'll give it a background so we can see that when we actually render it, it's coming out on something, so let's give it a sort of mild red. So at the moment, if we were to render it, 
it would look like this. Ooh, look, I haven't actually made that have the colour as well. So for each one, you are going to need to go onto material and give it the colour each time. So there we go. Now I've got, got a very, very edgy green tank. Uh, what we want to do now is just make it look a little bit nicer. So let's grab one part of the shape. Let's grab these treads here. And remember our subdivision surface? We're going to use that again. And immediately it's made it look, in, <laughs> look like a tiny little thing. In fact, if you go through and do it for all of them, you'll see that you what you get is a, a very odd looking shape because it's trying its best to make something from the specifics you've set. So there we go, we've now got what looks like, like a future tank just in itself, it's all floating parts. We don't want that, we want our sort of previous tank but just a little bit more, um, you know, detail, more faces on each object. So let's go into edit mode on tab. Now we can see that it's tried its best with the shape it's got, but it can only go with the faces we've given it. So let's give it some more faces and we're going to try the loop cut. Now the loop cut has a really good uh, shortcut, it's control R. So if press control R, you'll see that a loop appears in your shape. And all we're going to do is just press control R and drag those up and down a bit. There's another one. And there's another one. There we go. Oh, do I want that to go? Yeah, there we go. It's fine. And now we can see we've got a little bit more of a curved edge. Uh, again, put these up a bit, and you'll see that we've now got a much more curved edge, and it's you know, much easier to work with. This little edge here is causing us problems. So on edges, let's just grab all these guys here and grab them back on the X. And all it's going to do is just make this part a bit smoother. Still a bit too sharp. This time, grab the faces and grab those back on the X again. There we go. Got a little bit more of a smoother shape now. Okay, so let's get rid of these ones here and duplicate this guy across the Y. There we go. Ooh, let's get right next to it. So remember, Shift D is duplicate. Now we've got exactly the same treads on the right side. Same thing we just did with the loop cut for the middle body. So Control R gets the loop cut open. Hover over until you find the cut you want, which is this one here. And all we're going to do is add in these faces with a loop cut, getting them to make our shape the way we want it. So there we go, we've got something nice looking there. Again, we can up the render and the viewpoint to make it a bit more soft. And finally, let's do it to the turret. So again, shift, oh, sorry, tab, <laughs> and uh, hit it mode. And we're just going to get these loop cuts going around wherever we want them just to make our tank look a bit better. Again, we're going to increase the render and the viewpoint so we can see what's actually going on. And now we've got, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a, almost like a soft toy tank. Um, being honest, this part, the turret here, could do with being a little bit bigger, but we can give it some loop cuts so it sort of suits the rest of everything else as well. Okay, and we've got a little tank. There's a lot more we can do with it, but for a basic shape, just getting used to various parts of Blender, such as the loop cut, such as subdivision surface, such as duplicating, they're all very helpful. So remember, Shift D was duplicating, Control R was our loop cut, which gave more detail in edit mode. And the last one was extruding and scaling. So E then S, that gives you the sort of option to extrude out a shape directly from a previous shape. Okay, have a little try yourself. Remember, you want to be setting your camera as well with numpad zero. N brings up the toolbar and view, lock camera to view. And you'll be able to move things around and get into the place you want. Okay, have a little try. Don't forget to render at the end.